Hello everyone, Goldcoin here. Welcome to Foundation, a sandbox medieval city builder which launched in 2019 and received a big UI update on October of 2021. Let's go ahead and start a new game in the Valley map and see what's in store for us. Here we are in our new game in the Valley map. As I said before, this is a sandbox city builder. So basically the, the main objective is to build a big city in the whole map. Right now, or the one that you first start a new game, you can only buy certain piece of land like these ones. But uh, once you buy that, you will be able, or we will be able to buy any land in the map. Now, take a look at the graphics. It's just, you can zoom in as much as possible right here. And, and the level of details is just beautiful. But let's go ahead and start the game. We want a piece of land with a, a territory with stone, berries, and some wood. We have this one right here in the, the hill, on top here on the hill. And uh, we can actually build our house somewhere there. But I like uh, this location. We can build a bridge between these two in the future. So throughout the game, once we advance a little bit, we're going to be receiving quests or requests from the king. And once, if we fulfill those requests, we get rewards. So let's go ahead and buy this piece of land right here. And we have to start by, uh, if you look at this on the left corner, you will see that we have a quest and it's just to build a village center where all the villagers will be gathering. So let's go ahead and put it right, uh, let's see, right here maybe, right on the middle, or we can actually put it here and go from here over there. Now, one thing we have to notice or we have to consider is that we're going to need to build big churches and uh, the villagers need to build their houses. You don't build houses for the villagers. They build their own houses, but we'll cover that in a minute. So let's go ahead and start and put our village center right here. And there it is our village center. Now we have to provide the city with the, with the builder workshop. So we can assign builders and start working toward the stones and the berries. So let's go ahead and rotate these to rotate it. You just need to hold control key. And as you can see, you have two little arrows there. That's where the villagers or the builders will be entering the building. And this is very important because the villagers will be creating roads. So once the villagers start moving across the road or across the grass, they'll be creating roads. You can restrict them where they can go, but we'll be covering that soon too. So let's go ahead and assign a new builder. Let's assign three of them actually. You can see all the villagers that we have. They are unemployed right now, but we'll be assigning them some uh, jobs here in a minute. So once we have the villager, the, the builders, we want to go ahead and this is all the buildings we can create right now. We can unlock, unlock more once we progress more. So the quest says to place a lumber camp. So let's go ahead and see where the lumber camp might be. There it is. So we want to, this one we're probably going to be removing in the future because we're going to be placing it uh, maybe here. I like this area. So let's go ahead and place it right here. Right there. And assign probably, we're probably going to be, oh, we're going to wait for the builders to uh, build the, the lumber camp. As you can see, they're already creating this little road. And when I said about restricting or forbidding where they can walk, you, you will be painting basically everything here. So for example, we want to paint the extension. So we can, we want to tell any, anybody here in the lumber uh, camp just to basically extract this right here. So we can extract all of that and we can actually leave a little bit in, we don't want to basically remove all trees from the map we want to also design it and you know have a little bit of a, a beautiful site for the villagers now that a the village the lumber camp it's it's 
completed, we just need to assign some wood quarters right there. These are probably temporary jobs because we were probably going to need to be assigning them to other buildings here in a minute. So if we want to forbid the land, basically we can just tell them, okay, I don't want you to walk anywhere outside these boundaries towards this building. Otherwise it's going to look very messy. Right here it says produce berries. So we just have to go ahead and look for the, where is it? Oh, there's a new filter. That's why I'm a little bit lost here because it's the new UI. Believe me, it's very, very well designed. The other one, the, this game is a great game, but my, my, my critic or my first cons like critic about the game was the UI was a little bit, it was lacking information, was lacking design. But right now, this is just gorgeous. So let's go ahead and put our, where is it? Our gathering hut right, let's see. If we wanna walk, we, let's put it right here. This is a very calm game. Let's put our gathering hut maybe like that. And we build it, and then we're probably gonna need to put our stone there it is, stone cutter camp. Let's go ahead and put it right here. Yep. Yep. That looks good to me. Well, actually, we can put it here, but it's gonna be too close to the to the village center. So I like placing it here. Everything is being constructed and built. It building uh, right here, where you can see while we wait for the little villagers to work towards the objective here we can talk about the ui so here you have your coins right now this is the average daily balance it's costing us minus two coins to maintain the or basically we just lost two coins so far with or we're losing two coins a day that's what it means the resources the happiness of the villagers Right now, they don't have water or food because we're just getting started. And the buildings that we have. We don't have any worker. Uh, there's no uh, resources for construction for the stone cutter. Probably, uh, probably going to need. Oh, well, we do, actually. This is the no workers assigned to. Oh, okay. So basically, this is telling us how many villagers. Okay, there it is. So one building has no worker assigned. So. We have to basically open it. And if you click on it, it'll take you to the building. So if I click on this, it'll take me to the building, which is nice. This is was not in the previous version and I like it a lot. So let's assign, you can either assign the villagers manually or you can just put here and it'll assign whatever it's available or whoever is available that is. Once we start gathering more and more, actually we what we can do is basically unassign one builder and assign it to the gathering hut so we can start feeding our people here. So this building should be done anytime soon. We were just waiting for these wood quarters to, oh, actually we have the resources right here. And you can actually trade, re, uh, you have trade routes and then you can trade with other cities that are imaginary, quote unquote, but you can trade with them in the game once we have a trading center, I believe it's called. Let's see. So the granaries where you sto store food and uh, any kind of food, and then we have the market. We will be placing the market. And there's one thing about this game, you can design the buildings. And I'll show you once it comes to designing probably a church or a market. It's really nice. It's a it's a stone. It's a basically a sandbox, a very very detailed sandbox city builder. As I said, you can actually take a look at the builder at the villagers here, and you can actually follow them right here. Looks like it's taking lunch or basically resting. They don't. This is how you know they're resting. They just you know stand there in the village center where they don't have anything to do or is their break, their job break, or maybe, yep, that's what it is. The, the wood quarter is full, the lumber camp, it's completely full, out of capacity. So we will be dealing with it here in a second. 
We're just waiting here a builder to complete the stone cutter. And we need to produce berries. Oh, I forgot. We're not producing berries because we need to paint the extraction zone. So we're going to tell, go ahead and tell our gatherers, go ahead and gather from this area. And look at that. It's just beautiful. Is it not? You can, I mean, you can have massive, massive cities in this game. I've seen, I've seen cities that are just gargantuan. And I love that about this game. And there is no threat as of right now. I don't know if they're going to be in the future. But I think the game is, is meant to be a peaceful, very relaxing game. Let's go ahead and speed up time, actually. We can go ahead and put it at times two just for now while we complete the, the quests and get ready for other stuff. So it says stock your resources. So if you pin this quest, you will have it open all the time and you can see build a granary, assign a new transporter and assign berries to a granary. So transporter means a, a person, a job for a person that's gonna grab berries from the hut and bring it to the granary and store them. Let's see, where can we put our granary? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. There it is. So the building has one, two, three, four entrance. I probably won't, don't like, uh, let's take a look at the, okay, the building. Hmm, I like this. I like it like that. And maybe here, we can actually put it in the, near the city village, the center here, the village center. Like that, maybe. Yeah, sure, why not? It looks good. Let's go ahead and tell our builder, uh, builders to start building that uh, granary. And once it's completed, we'll be assigning a new transporter. So let's go ahead and speed time here. And wait for our builder to finish the granary. In the meantime, the woodcutters are keeping the lumber camp at capacity. We can actually unassign one of those. And actually, one of them, we can unassign them and we can put it here in the stone quarter. We can have up to five min miners and stone will be very, very well used. After that, we can start producing a polished stone in the future. So let's take a look what they complete those tags. Let me see where is it at. There is one th thing I would like to check and it's the builder because you have basically... It's like a, a, Anno 1800 or the Anno games. Let's see, no resources to extract. Okay. Where you can actually have different like society or classes of build. Or, like they go up in, in class, high class, lower class, low class, middle class in society. But let's see, book. Villagers. Okay, serve, status, serve. And then the next one, I forgot what, what the next one is. It's called... And this is where you, oh, we can change our village. We can call it, let's see, how are we going to call it? Gold coins beginning. We can call it like that. Lord unknown. Let's, uh, lady, lord, let's put gold coin here. There you go. Lord gold coin. And here is the states. Basically, labor, kingdom, and clergy. So... Labor, you get points. Labor Splendor and Labor Influence. Kingdom, you get Kingdom Splendor and king, Kingdom Influence. And same with Clergy. So basically, Splendor is uh, accumulated towards the Labor State. And same with the Kingdom, towards if you do jobs for the King, you get points. And if you do job for the Clerk, you get points too. So once we have X amount of points, in this case, 0 points and 10 newcomers. Newcomers means new people in the city we can unlock the warehouse and the bailey's office and the uh, same happens with the uh, when we have 10 serves basically 10 serves is the what we have we are currently have eight so once we have 10 serves we can uh, build where is it at okay we can build these buildings and when we have this one 10 serves and five splendor we can build this and so forth so on so let's take a look at our city. Uh, I don't like it when it when this happens, but 
I'm just gonna wait for it to finish and then we can forbid it. And then it, it'll regrow. The grass will regrow eventually. It takes time for it to regrow. It looks like this might be full as well, a capacity. There is no job for them. And this one as well. Yeah, we just need to wait for the for the granary to be completed. Let's speed up more time. It's the X3 is the maximum. And once we have that, we can have the transporter. There it is. The granary has been finished. Let's add a transporter. We don't have any jobs available. So what we can do is we can remove one wood cutter and assign it as a transporter and then tell them, okay, store berries. And there it is. We got a hundred coins and feel the needs of your new oncomers. So let's see what the new comers want. So they want a well, a market, and a, and the mark uh, assign someone there. So let's go ahead and build a well. And the well, I'm gonna be building it towards this area because this area right here, right here will be a complex, the residence area. And you need to keep the residence area, right now it's not unlocked, but you need to keep it a very high desire so villagers can build their houses in that area. We will be painting that area and they will be like, we will be telling them, okay, you can build in this house. This is your like permitted land to build your house. But if, 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 if the desire of building there is low, they won't build it and they will be very unhappy. So having said that, let's go ahead and place our well where is it? Service, decoration, transportation, logistic. Let's see. Oh, we can search building. Well, look at that. Wonderful. So this is the area it, it'll cover. So I like it right here. And actually, we'll be moving this out of the way. And we can put the market here. Let's see. Let me think about this real quick. So if we put the well here. Let's see. Hmm. We can put it here and then the market there. All right, I like it. I like the well right there. Uh, what is it not building it? We'll be moving that uh, uh, forest camp. I mean the forester, forester camp out of that position. So let's place our well right here, Bill. In fact, if we want, we, since we have 50 lot, once we have the uh, warehouse, we can actually move everything out of the here and remove that building from there. And the grass will regrow eventually. So let's see. Oh, they even have report, reports every month. That's, that's nice. Very nice. For those out there that like statistics, this uh, where you look at here in the, in the menu. And the budget f4 f3 oh they actually labeled them that's very nice it's a very nice game and you actually have logs if you want to read up on them yeah they this new ui is just phenomenal and i know they added new buildings recently too so wooden bridge okay so that's a new we just got that uh, little wooden bridge actually you can think i think you can build it as big as you like yeah this is way too big though we're probably going to be building from here to here and from here to here. And maybe from here to here. So they don't have to go all the way around. We'll see. So let's take a look here. We need a market. The well is finished. We need a market. So let's take a look at what's happening here with the roads. All right. Let's forbid that here. I don't want anybody going near here. I just want everyone going here and then here and then the market. Where are we going to build the market? I would like it to put it here, to be honest. As a matter of fact, what happens if we destroy this building? We don't, we don't need the wood right now. I wonder if it's... I don't know if it's going to basically delete those 50. Hmm. I wonder. Let's give it a try. It did. Oh, well. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I deleted the force cam and we lost the 50 wood and I did not want to do that. So I re reloaded the game. Thankfully it was saved. So we're going to go ahead and put the well right where we put it before. And we're probably going to need to be, or oh, let's actually see where we can we put it to build the market around it. 
So if we put the market here, we can actually expand the market if we need to. So what we can do, hmm, let's see, we can actually put the well here if we need to. I mean, we don't have to put it right next to them. We can actually put it here and build the market around it. But I would like the market to be in the center of the village, the village center. So if we do this, maybe this was not a really good place to put it. But anyways, it's already there. So let's go ahead and put it right here. Let's put the well. Hmm. I just want to cover this area for the houses because houses will be a problem in the future. I'll tell you that. I don't know if that was fixed already or not, but I know they were a problem in the future, especially churches. The first church needs to be gargantuan. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to be complaining about there's no enough churches. So let's go ahead and build our well right here, I think the same spot that we build it and then build the market right here yeah let's go ahead and do that all right worst case scenario we can just move stuff once we are settled now build a well and then let's go ahead and build the market and this is what i wanted to tell you about the market let's go ahead and uh, build the market you place the marker the marker mac so the market marker <laughs> and then you place that and then you have all kind of options for the uh, this is the stall the stall is required right so the guy will be right here the the marker the market tender will be on the back and on on the sides where people will come into the market so if you put it or actually the other way my bad yeah it's the other way so the the market tender will come from the side and the the buyers basically or whoever wants to buy something from the market will be coming from from the front of it so we can remove this i just want to take a look at something here what if now that i look at this row what if we build the market right here and then this is going to be a road all the way to the complex basically hmm i like that i like that idea yep i like it a lot Let's go ahead and build a market right there. It's it, this type of game is just basically you need to improvise a lot, and it's and it's there's no wrong or good basically. It's whatever you like to do that's gonna that's what's gonna happen basically. So let's go ahead and put our stall here, right there, and then we can, I mean the, the decoration will cost some resources and money. So we can add this this one right here. It snaps right to that, that little or that white bubble. We can put this one right here. Or we can put this one right here. I actually like this one. This one looks like more of a port, like a coast marina type of market. Let's build this one. And we have some more. We can put a sign here like, hey, this is the market. Uh, this is what kind of sign the food stall sign. So let's put it right here And we can actually put some barrels if we want and we can I mean this you don't have to put everything at once We can come back and add more decorations to it We can add a bench if we want next to the market actually we can add a bench here But we don't need to and then we just need to click build Let's see build right here and our market will start to get built let's see how our people are doing so we have 130 berries our people is 50 percent happy uh, happiness going down minus 50 percent because of the food because we don't have a market and they will buy the food for you so you will it's <laughs> you you will pay them to <laughs> gather the food and then you will sell them that food that they gather <laughs> so yeah well, you will sell it. It's not a lot of profit, but I mean, the market will have a lot of things in the future. The market is com is completed. And we just need to assign a market tender. Let's see if we have any unemployed. We do not. So let's see. Who do we want to remove? We can remove a berry gatherer. And then we can put it right here in the market tender. And now this should be increasing it here soon once we, they start buying food. Yeah, they're going to make a little roll here. We need to prevent this right here. Let's see. 
right now everything is looking nice everything is looking beautiful we just need to sell resources in the market that's all we need to do and then assign resources berries and we just receive a hundred coins in reward we have it at 3x right now speed up things we're probably gonna need to lower down here pretty soon pretty soon but we need to wait for uh, what happiness to increase go to a hundred so we can start receiving immigrants so i don't want you guys to wait here looking at this i'll come back once we start getting some immigrants it might take a little bit it might take five seven minutes i just want to show you how the immigrants come to our city so the quest is completed it took a little bit it took like three minutes to complete and now we are at maximum capacity immigration is at maximum and the factors is because there is no residential space and this is what i talked to you about the uh, early in the video so we have to uh, basically how can we basically add residential immigration is enabled we can disable it actually it's a maximum incoming okay so it says the next wave will be coming in five days so immigration is oh, okay maximum okay there is two villagers coming into the city a message from the kingdom the kingdom recognizes your efforts in establishing your new settlement i am but your humble servant we will receive four points for labor and the kingdom and we'll start a new quest let's see what's the new quest promote your first newcomers build a, a lord manor assign a great hall function to a, okay and then start okay perfect housing insufficient and this is where it opens up yep see this is the desired ability low 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 because we have this uh, job here and we have to put the church and a, in a lower manner and that'll increase the basically the disability now one thing i don't understand it says next way in coming three days i noticed that the how many people we have we have 10 people so we just got two and i noticed that they just appear in the map they used to come from outside the map walking all the way down until they reach that's why i wanted i wanted to show you but i guess they changed that oh well it looks like they came actually look at this but there was no notification for that so they came all the way from out here basically they arrive at the port and they came all the way down here leaving a little trail there to our village and the next wave will come in one day so let's go ahead and speed down time let's put it a plus one and see what's happening here so new villagers the next wave we got zero villagers two people who were passing by zero decided to join so okay that's fine so we have to, what we have, we have the rustic church and then we have the administration, which is the lower manor. Let's see, we will, I would like to remove as much as possible here. So what I'm going to do is build the warehouse so, so we can remove this out of the way. So let's go ahead and build the warehouse. Where is it? Warehouse, warehouse. Oh, actually, I think we have to unlock it. Let's see. It was F2. Actually, F, F, F5. So we can buy the warehouse and the Bailey's office. What else can we buy? We cannot buy anything else. We have to, we need 10 serfs. How many do we have? Newcomer, we have eight. They have to be upgraded to serve once they have built uh, their house. Villagers unemployed. So, okay. Let's build the warehouse right here. Ooh, it's a big building see where can we put it i would like to put it right here actually hmm. uh, i don't know if how it's still gonna work they can enter from anywhere so do we want to put it that way or this way or maybe we can put it here hmm. i don't know if i like this location i want to leave this location for wood cutting so basically let's go ahead and do it right there it will make sense in the city in this village center next to the market now look at the circle that's the area that's going to affect so if you try to build a residential or the disability to build residential buildings within this circle it, it will be low it will be lower 
because of this builder building so it's not affecting our complex here so let's go ahead and put it right there and we can forbid the maybe this is too close let's go ahead and try to put it a little bit further not the granary but the warehouse yep right there let's go ahead and put it right there and start building our speed up time let's build our first warehouse and assign i think you have to assign transporter if i'm not mistaken to transport goods from here to there and then this building will be placing it around here and but first we're going to tell them to cut as much as possible here let's see okay we can increase and to delete you just need to press right click and you delete the painted area yeah it's looking beautiful it definitely is looking beautiful very quiet the music is very relaxing very calming we have to build a warehouse to start tra uh, creating a trading route to get tools because tools is another thing that we're gonna need for i think if i'm not mistaken the church and the lower manor house insufficient we know that we just need this to get built sap oh there is no planks and there is an there is no planks to build that so let's see sawmill what is this forest cam stone cutter lumber cam forest cam Resources needed, plant trees. Okay, so this is basically a reforestation building and the sawmill. Where do we want to put the sawmill? Yeah, we need to cut this. So, um, where do we want to put the sawmill? Outside territory. Hmm, everything is looking a little bit crampy here. So, what about we create a, a like a zone, a industrial zone around here? Actually, I just want to. I don't want to get rid. Of the trees we're gonna need it uh, next uh next next time we can buy a land we're probably gonna be buying these but in the meantime i mean we can place it right here mm. yeah let's put let's put our 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 sawmill right outside of our city boundaries right there so let's see how this building works so it enters here enters there cuts here cuts there what's the and okay so it's right there outside building locate out territory location let's go ahead and do this build it and this is going to be our residential zone right here i mean not residential but industrial zone we can have a uh, fish fishing hut here and then have a try to have a road that goes all the way across this and then build this around here speed up time so we need to build a lower manor and send a great hole. So yeah, I want to get rid. Maybe the lower manor, what we can do, look at this. We can build the lower manor here, the church here, or actually church, lower manor, and around the buildings. We see how it goes. So all we need basically is the we're waiting for the builder to finish constructing this. The material has been delivered. Let's take a look at her. What's her name? Anne Elaine. Thank you for working here. It says serve are satisfied with a roof over their head and a welcoming church. It's a builder level three. Of course, they they level up on their job. And you can say, okay, you can see that uh, water and food are going down. Comfort is minus 25%. Comfort and the service minus 25%. She must visit a church from time to time in order to pray. 
So this is almost completed. And I think we only have her in the builder, builder workshop. Oh, we actually have two. And where is uh, Bill, Bill Hidis? Bill Hidis, where are you? Oh, you're building. Oh, and the sawmill is finished. We just need to assign a worker. And actually, we have two uh, workers that are not. Oh, we can actually assign three. So we're going to assign two just for now. And actually, we I saw something. I don't want anybody walking through here, please. Just and nothing here. Just go straight through that line that you created here either. Housing insufficient. I know that we'll be working on that in the next episode. So right now we're almost getting started. I mean, we already started, but we're almost there to start building houses, church and lower manor. The fun is yet to happen. Thank you for watching. I hope you like this first playthrough. If you have any comment or feedback, just let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Again, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.